Hey, my friends, DM Scotty here. Great to have you with me. Now, you'll probably all remember when I did my craft of the brazier with a little tea light, and there have been hundreds of variations of this that people have done through the years since I introduced this. And as I progressed in my terrain, I've added more and more lighting features to my terrain, but there can be problems with that because the, the LEDs, although they're useful, uh, they can be very static. You know, maybe you can make them blink or you know shift to colors or that kind of thing, but not very exciting. You don't have a lot of control over that. But that changes today because I've discovered something that gives me absolute control over the LEDs at my table. And that is called this Rocket Life light box. I've been using this in my terrain builds to do all kinds of cool effects. And I'm gonna take you to my table and show you how I can you, you can use this little thing to just revolutionize the lighting in your terrain without any, any programming skill whatsoever. This is so cool. So let's hit my table and I'll show you how to use this light box and how I've used it in my terrain. So this is what you're gonna get when you purchase the Rocket Life light box kit. You're gonna get the unit itself, you're gonna get the USB and the connector to connect the LED lights. You can see here everything is labeled, so the LED status when you're charging. It also has a 5 DC volt DC power input and the micro USB charging port and the light socket that connects to your LED lights. That's all there is to it. It's a very simple unit. So here's the light box connected to a string of LED lights and you can pr I'm going to show you how you can program these in and use these uh, different patterns and that kind of thing. So yeah, that's all there is to it. Now you just charge it beforehand and it holds a charge and you can actually uh, you know, use it separately from the charging unit or USB. You can connect all different kinds of LED string lights or shaped lights, which I'm going to show here real soon. And yeah, it's just an independent unit that has its own, holds its own charge, so you can hide it in terrain. That's what I love. Here is the interface where you can make all the different changes. You can see the different effects and all that kind of stuff. And you can add them in the timeline, just by, like you might do a video. And then it'll cycle through the different effects. So just really easy to use for a layman like me that just does, has no programming knowledge whatsoever. <laughs> I can just drop and drag this stuff into the timeline and get exactly the effects I want. And I can adjust every effect independently. They also have an app for your phone, so you don't have to worry about you know lugging a laptop or anything like that around, uh, especially at a convention like I've used it at. You can just take the, your phone to the convention, have all your programming in the light box and the phone, and you're ready to go. So uh, let me show you a little bit uh, how this works. Here's the app on my phone. I just choose it, opens it up, and then I have to choose the device. I have to choose the light box, okay, and that Bluetooths right to your phone. So awesome. And once that connects, I've got all these different um, programs in it that I can uh, use. I have already loaded programs into it. And when I plug it in, it starts. Okay. And I can just select different uh, programs. And look, it, yeah, see how that's changing the lights when I select a different. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. I'm going to show you guys some great applications in your terrain for using this light box. First terrain I'm going to show you is a scavenged piece from a Skylander game, and uh, yeah, it looks great. I love all the detailing, and everything. I just got it from a Goodwill, cut the guts out of it, and it's ready for my lights. So this is just a round 60 set light here. Uh, it has it has all these wires connecting the different rings because you can separate the rings, but you can leave them together and just use the one wire. So I'm going to put that in through the uh, exit hole that was already built into the piece. Then I'll connect it to my light box. And you can see it activate, and I've got my portal uh, program running. So let me turn it over and show you guys. Ah, isn't that neat? So like instant terrain. So here, uh, yeah, just turn it a little bit so you can see the different the pattern, you know, in and out. You can do so many different colors and different patterns and that kind of thing. So this is so cool. Uh, let's move on to something else I did. Here's another piece I did. I want to have an alien pod, and it's actually just made out of a coconut from the Dollar Tree, right? But I added the little stuff on it. But it's perfect because it opens up, and I can put the whole kit and caboodle in there. So I get the light string off here, the uh, LED string here. And I'll connect it to my light box. But first, I'm going to choose the program, so I have the right program running when it connects. And uh, connect that. Starts it right up. 
and I can just hide all the guts of this inside this uh, coconut slash alien pod. <laughs> so once I get it all in there, put the lid on, and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so you see we've got the lights flashing in there. Isn't that so cool? But not only that, watch this. The speed of the, the, speed of the lights will change, right? And doesn't that just look great? <laughs> so cool. And you can program all this stuff in. It's so great. Look, it just stopped, and now it's kind of starting the process over again. Uh, so cool. It just really adds a nice effect. And uh, the players were just like, whoa, you know, when I broke this out at the table. So just a great way to wow your players. And there it speeds up again. So cool. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, it can be nice to see context. People are like, what would the heck would you do with that alien pod? Well, it was this alien pod that had punched through the crust and was down in this cavern, and the players had crawled down this pit cave to find the uh, alien pod, and the aliens got out and that kind of thing. So here's the terrain all set up with the alien pod and glowing and all that. So I wanted to give you an idea what the context of the alien pod was. Before we move on, I wanted to show you another way you could hide the light box in terrain. So here's my full-size light box, and I made a piece of um, terrain to cover it. So I just made a cardboard box, put my paper mache technique on it, and made it look like a rock. And I can just hide that in terrain. Isn't that so cool? I'm going to show you more ways that I've used also later in the video that I hid the light box in terrain. Okay, just when you can't think it can get any more awesome, they also have a miniature version of the light box, right? Uh, you just uh, plug it up. Uh, it has a connector to the lights. It also has this connector. Uh, you need a, a separate power source for it like you would get for the light box. But, and you have to have it plugged in. It won't hold a charge like the light box. But you can hide it much easier in your terrain if you need a much smaller piece. Uh, and look at look at the size here compared to a nickel. So that's how small this is. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> so cool. And the great thing is this has all the functionality of the full size version. It just needs to be plugged in. I have my LED lights here and here it is plugged in the mini light box. So that's the size you're looking at compared to the regular size light box. And it works just the same. You just plug the connector in for the LEDs and it runs your program. You can load programs on it just like you do on the light box. So perfect. Uh, and I'm going to show you, I've used both of these in my terrain. I'm going to show you uh, different ways that I've done that. All right, gamers, there's another practical way you can use it. I plug my light box mini into this string of LED lights, and I've got my program running. It's like these flashing red and yellow lights, right? And you're going to see why in just a second. So I put this lava mat down, and you can see the sparkles in the lava. Isn't that so cool? Just flashing around. Let me turn the lights down so you can see better. Uh, just a, one great application for this. Really cool. All right, so the, for the over the lava, I want to have this tower coming up, right? It was hanging over the lava. And there's this thing called a prime forge, and I'm going to build that right now. So it's just a mirror from the Dollar Tree, a piece I made to go over it like that. just fits right on top. And then I picked up this, at the Goodwill, I picked up this shelf. And I thought, oh, that's kind of neat. I can make something out of that. And I just turned it upside down to make this prime forge. So I just put cellophane in there. Then I got this LED grid and put that in there. So that's part of it. And then I'll get my light box. See, I've still got my light box mini going, right? Once you set the program going, it'll keep going. You don't have to keep it on the uh, in the program. So there, you can see it looks like a, a raging fire, right? So I just hide that in the base, put the prime forge on top, and voila. I also had a cool uh, decoration here with this statue, and that's fun. So yeah, the players could go here, and instead of just giving them a new weapon, they could upgrade the weapon they already had at this Prime Forge. Very cool. So to give you an idea how big this terrain piece is, here's the party. <laughs> so look at the scale of that. It's an immense scale. Uh, but yeah, that just really came out great. And look at the, the flame roaring inside the Prime Forge and the flickering in the lava. That's just such a great effect. It really just adds something special to this encounter. It was so fun because the players were so excited to upgrade their weapons. It was great. As I mentioned earlier with the terrain pod, uh, it can be really nice to see the context that the terrain is used in. So this was the uh, Prime Forge, and this is actually at my table running it with all the extra you know, terrain bits and the player characters and all that stuff. So I want to give you guys a look and see what it looked like actually running at my table. And these are pictures from my actual game. 
Hey craft friends, I hope you're as excited as I am about the potential of this product. If you really like what you've seen already, check out my links below the video. It gives me a little bit of kickback and helps the channel and I really appreciate that. But if you'd like to see more, I'll show you the interface you can use to program, put the programs into the light box itself and how it works. So stay with me if you want to see that. All right guys, here is our interface for the light designer and I'm no expert, but uh, yeah, I'll show you what I know. So we'll connect to the Bluetooth, so that's find the light box, and that just connects. This adjusts the uh, how bright the lights are, all right? This here, you can go into more settings. You can update the firmware. You can change different things if you have different types of LED lights and that kind of thing. So let's go back. Uh, now, you can see that the, the light box here, it shows us how it's connected. When our program is loaded into it, it shows on here, and you can select it. To run so if I select rainbow sweep it and I hit play or I could hit play on start which means when I plug it into lights it'll just start playing that uh, program which is what I really like when I go to conventions all right now you see over here there's projects that we can make these are the projects that are loaded on the light box these are the ones that we can make so let's say we're gonna make a new project so we'll go to a new project and you can choose a different layout so they have you could do a circle layout. There we go. You do a circle layout and different types of layouts. So we'll uh, we'll choose our um, two meter strip. All right. So we got that that chosen. Now to add things to the strip for to run a program, we want to go. To here so we have colors that we can actually drag to the strip this is just kind of boring it's just going to be a red a red light LED that's kind of boring so we'll trash that and then we'll look here you can change the different kinds of effects right that's really cool so let's uh, do chases and crawls so they have all these different effects and you can drag those into the timeline and if you hit this uh, loop it'll just keep playing when you have it selected so if I play it you can see it here but it's it's nice to have it to show it on your light box itself now say I I like the effect but I don't like the colors so what I could do is I could go over here and this shows it alternates between green black and black so I could change that say I change that to red right so now it'll go you can see here in the picture it's red, green, and black. I could change this. Maybe I'd make that yellow. All right. So that you can you can change the colors. You can change how they interact by these different uh, waveforms here. And you'll get different kind of effects. So if I go like this, you see the wave the th the program in here changed, right? That's pretty cool. Now, uh, you can also do all these different kind of intervals and stuff. Now, these programs are already set up to be set up with all the intervals and all that stuff. So if you like the program, you just, usually what I find is I just have to change the colors. But you can change every variable in this uh, to make it exactly what you want. That's what's so great about this, about this program. I love it. So, yeah. So those are, you know, we have all these effects here. Just a crazy amount. We have the different you know layouts you can choose uh, you can have a matrix which would be you know a square basically which I you saw me use in the video and uh, yeah so w say we want to save the project right so we hit save project and I'll call it uh, we'll just call it project one okay oh sorry gotta choose a folder here Okay, so now when I go back, uh, project one is in the folder, so I can I can see, you know, the different projects as folder two, and then this is the resources that come, you know, example products and stuff, right? So you have all these example effects, all that kind of stuff. So that's really really cool. And if we go say we want to save this to the light box, right? We just hit over here and uh, copy to device.
So it's transferred to the light box and I can go down and I can see that project one is actually in the light box. So if I select that, you know, it'll play on the light box. So very cool. And that's just the basics of this. Uh, there's a lot more to learn, you know, uh, all these different uh, details and dials and you can turn and twist, but that's the basics. I just basically find a project I like, then just modify the colors and voila, that's the easiest way to do it. But if you want to get really detailed with what you're doing, you can adjust any variable in any of the pro uh, programs. So that's just super cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed the look at this light designer. I'm just really impressed with it and I love what I'm able to do with my terrain.